Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome you all to learn Chinese language with Chinese language made easy. I am Muhammad Shahid and today I will discuss the second part of characters made easy. The purpose of these lectures is only to know and to learn the method and procedures of how are we going to remember and memorize the Chinese characters for a long time even if you don't practice it. So let's proceed. I have uh, the same agendas which I had in the previous lecture and the first agenda is to present to you the Chinese characters in an easy and interesting way and the second agenda was so that these techniques which I'm going to discuss in each lecture could have a long lasting impact on your mind and you could have a logical uh, a logical concept of uh, learning these Chinese characters. So let's proceed and see the first character of the lecture. And the first character of the lecture is the character Chuan. 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 Chuan means Chuan is a verb which means to wear. Okay. So this Chuan is basically made from two other uh, radical signs, and the first one is known as Xue. This is the radical sign, which is pronounced as Xue. Xue. Xue means a cave or a hole. So you can see this in the picture, and this is combined with the radical or character of a tooth okay ya 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 means tooth and it is a canine tooth okay the sharp tooth so basically uh, the radical sign of Xue, the radical sign Xue is combined with the radical sign Ya, which represents a sharp object piercing something to make a hole. Originally, this character Chuan was used to mean is to pierce or to penetrate. Okay, so which actually means that this symbolizes a hole made in a cloth or some other surface so since when you make a garment you first have to pierce a piece of cloth with a needle and this character by extension went from meaning to pierce to meaning to put on or to wear the garment so this is how you could connect the logical concept of the character chuan and how the character or radical of Xue K is connected with the teeth and this character is came into existence okay now let's proceed uh, the next character is San San and you know this this is number three in Chinese language these are three planes and the first plane represent a heaven or skies the second plane represent a man and the third plane represents uh, uh, the earth okay so you have to see that how these characters are going to help us ahead in this lecture so the first one is I told you that this stands for the heaven or skies according to concepts ancient concepts of Chinese people this one stands for a man this one stands for uh, the earth and this is actually the scene in front of you so now we are going to see that how it help us so the next character which we will learn is the character Wang Wang and this character represents the meaning of a king and uh, actually this character has different interpretations in Chinese language some says that the three planes which I have discussed earlier that the heaven and the earth and the, these are connected basically uh, by a straight vertical structure which could be called as a king who has the power or who has the awareness of power to govern the affairs of the people uh, who lives 
who live uh, between the sky, the skies and the earth. Whatever area he is ruling, so he has the authority of governing the affairs of these people or governing the man. Okay, which is the second plan between the uh, the skies and the earth. So this is simply connected. These planes are connected by the straight vertical structure, a straight vertical line, which could be referred to as a king. Another uh, interpretation regarding this character uh, is dated back to Shang Dynasty, and uh, there they could uh, call it as a heavy axe. Okay, a weapon which would be used by slave owners or feudal lords in order to kill, you know, uh, serfs or uh, prisoners or criminals, and who uh, anyone who has mastered this murderous uh, weapon would have uh, the power of a king, and this will symbolize the power of a king who would have the. Uh, skills to you know how to to uh, to use it to use this tool okay uh, another interpretation was that uh, uh, this uh, character is basically uh, a string of G jade beads jade jade is actually uh, okay this is an X this is the jade a picture of the jade beads. Jade was a precious stone, uh, which would be uh, which would be uh, only you know which could be afforded by the royalties. So because of the jade stones, three jade stones, or it could be a string in which jade stones would be you know fixed. So would be uh, uh, referred to as a king. Okay. So these are a uh, string of a Jed beads. Uh, the next one is uh, the character An 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 means mercy or kindness. This is made of two components. The first one is this Yin 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 means reason or cause, and uh, the second one is Sin. Sin means heart. You have already studied this one. So when you date back the history of this character into the Jagu one, which was uh, initially the uh, inscriptions of the Chinese characters on oracle bones, and uh, those were the bones uh, in, on, upon which Chinese, Chinese people would write the Chinese characters. Uh, those bones would be of uh, the scapula of uh, ox, the, the shoulder bone uh, bones and uh, it could be the shells of turtles uh, in Shang dynasty where at the actual start of the uh, Chinese characters the writing of the Chinese characters begin so uh, that I'm going to show you a picture of that okay so this you can see in this picture that this is like a cell in which a person is enclosed and below the cell they showed a picture of a heart so it is like a matured man is uh, enclosed in a cell or confined in uh, an enclosure and uh, like someone has if see that person could have you know initiate the feeling or could have the feeling of mercy for him to be liberated, to be free, to be released. So that is why the character An is taken from that place. And the characters down uh, in the picture are uh, basically known as Jaguan. 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 Jaguans are the, as I told you, the earlier bone inscriptions, oracle bone inscriptions. Uh, date back to Shang dynasty okay we are actually this the writing of these characters begin so one who, who would have mercy who would have the feeling of sympathy for a person who has been caged a mature big man is caged in an enclosure or uh, who is uh, being present in a cell confined in a cell so the feeling of 
his liberation in someone's heart is associated with the character